University of Colorado calls misgendering an act of violence? Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts, Ray Sean Blyden here. Today's show is brought to you by Hang on to your seats. University of Colorado isn't going to like this. This is going to be a call for act of violence. Two genders, simple math. Go to politicalbombshow.com, click on Political Bomb Show store, and grab your two genders, simple math hoodie. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, really? Well, first of all, I would argue it's not misgendering, it's fact. We also have a teacher that said facts matters. Facts do matter. I'm not going to get into the biological sense of things, but you should know where I'm going with that. Nonetheless, University of Colorado warns students to be woke, calls misgendering an act of Violence. Are you a violent person? Not anymore. I used to be. Depending on your language. No. No. Such is the situation according to the University of Colorado. The school's Boulder campus hosts a pride office which has laid out limits related to speech. Per, first of all, I'm pretty sure that that's illegal against the United States Constitution. You can't limit my speech. It's First Amendment means free speech. The school's bolster, as I said, per the official page of pronouns, You've got to be kidding me. To respect someone is to do as they demand your words when they aren't around. You're joking. You can't be serious. Pronouns are one of the ways we portray our identities. When a person asks you to use their pronouns they are asking you to respect their identity. First of all, I'm not going to live in your pretend world. So you're not going to force me to take part in your pretend world. That's the nicest way I could put it without the YouTube gods coming down on me. Though pronouns are generally use in someone's absence, that person will somehow sense your syllab syllables, your syllables, your syllables, my syllables? Oh boy. This is a tough one for me to get through. I should have done this on Political Bomb Show instead. So I could really tell you, tell them how I feel. When someone refers to another person using the wrong pronouns, Especially on purpose. First, oh my, oh boy. Woo, help me, help me, help me. When someone refers to another person using the wrong pronoun, especially on purpose, that can lead to that person feeling disrespected and can lead to dysphoria, exclusion, and alienation. Violence is violence, and so are words. Choosing to ignore or disrespect someone's pronouns is not only an act of oppression, but can also be considered an act of violence. Really? Really? Well, I guess I'm going to be the most violent person on campus if I ever go there. School administrators 
are attempting to oppress oppression. So they're violently attacking violence. That seems the situation since words of oppositions are violence and the college is opposing unapproved pronouns with its words. Perhaps the, uh, perhaps the most notable reality revealed by C.U. Boulder is that one can commit violence against another without any semblance of close physical proximity. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. We also have a t-shirt. Sense isn't common anymore. I guess not at Colorado. Not at Colorado University. Sense is not common for sure. According to principles promoted by the Pride Office, an oppressor is Beijing may violently attack a member of the Miami marginalized simply by uttering third person words. In other words, in order to avoid violence, how might students keep track peers' pronoun preferences? Perhaps a notebook will help. Are you serious? You're telling me that, oh, whoo, 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 whoo. The YouTube gods are gonna wanna get me because I'm so close. Oh, boy. Woo, let me calm down. Gather myself, gather myself. Gather myself because I just want to tell you, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're not going to tell me how to speak and, and what I can and can't call someone. Are you serious? That's the nicest way I could put this. Obviously, I don't need profanity because I don't use that anymore. But... You're pissing me off, royally pissing me off, because you want to control my freedom of speech, my God-given rights to call a man a man and a woman a woman. You're trying to change the narrative. You're satanic and demonic. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I previously suggested a scenario in which our new rules are put into play. Consider, if you will, the following. While attending college, you meet and briefly converse with Cool Shoes Horacio, the body with male sex organs, informs you this pronouns are of the they variety except they substitutes nem for ver er for vis nurs for the other vis and bunself for verself does anyone understand what that means because i sure read it but sure don't understand it even if i read it a thousand times i have no idea what that means you log the above into your notebook in case you ever refer to them. You and Horacio never speak again. While home on Christmas break, you visit your cousin. You want to indicate you'd enjoy getting shoes similar to those worn by an entity you once met. You consult your book and then explain there was some human at school who had shoes like the ones I want. They told me they got them at the mall. I was going to ask Nem which store but I got distracted because I had to log NERS particulars into the 500 page journal I carry to record everybody I might ever reference pronouns they they 
would have probably taken me to the store by himself, but I'll never know. 70 years later, you're recalling how you ended up obtaining those very shoes. You want to share this story with your nursing home attendant and fortunately you have a laptop with all of your pronoun notes from seven decades past. Zeal be changing your bed pan next Thursday and by then you and your 90 year old mind will have never figured out how to tell Zer. Is anyone you see the absurdity of this? It's really it's absurd that you want me to have a little notebook for every delusional, psychotic, mentally unstable person I meet to take notes so next time I run into this individual I have to pronounce use their preferred pronouns. Are you insane? Are you insane? I'm not doing it. Back to see you, Colorado. What should the student do if a person's preferred pronouns are unknown? The Pride Office has an idea. Let's read some more of their ideas because the first one we just read was so awesome. Can you can you hear? Can you sense the sarcasm in my voice? Let's let's read the other one. Let's see what this is. Usually, it's safe to use they, them, theirs, unless that person tells you otherwise. Try to introduce yourself with your own pronouns so that everyone you meet knows that you're a safe space and that you won't assume a person's pronouns. If I run into someone and they have my features, hello, sir. If I run into someone and they have Hillary Clinton's features, hello, wildebeest. I mean, hello, ma'am. This is ridiculous. This is out of control. This England, England, they actually find you for misgender, and you get fined. <laughs> this is so absurd. Where was I? I got lost in their nonsense. Try to introduce yourself with your own pronoun so that everyone you meet knows that you're a safe space and that you won't assume a person's pronouns. It also prompts them to provide pronouns without it being awkward. Example, hello, my name is Alex, and I use they, them, theirs pronouns. Are you insane? Are you absolutely out of your freaking minds? Now I have to, to, to change the way how I greet people. I have to greet someone by, hi, my name is Rayshon. I prefer he, his, him. Not in a million years would you get me to do that. Hi, my name is Ray Sun. How are you doing? And that's all you get. You're not getting these other nonsense. Hello, my name is Alex. And I can't hear you where you are. Therefore, I'll never be aware of your vocalized violence. Or perhaps, see you bolder is right. And I actually will. Either way, let's all absolutely avoid the violence. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? I am not in a million years going to live to your insanity. It's not happening. Show is brought to you by politicalbombshow.com. Go to the Political Bomb Show store. Get this t-shirt, this uh, hoodie. Two genders, simple math. Two genders. Two genders. That's it. 
with your nonsense, with your pronouns. Pronouns. I, my name is Rayshon. My pronouns are he, his, him. Pleased to meet you. It. Unbelievable. I, I can't. I can't deal with this. I really can't. Leave a like, share, subscribe if you're on YouTube or Rumble. And I will see you in the next one. If you're in Odyssey as well, we are all also on Odyssey. Peace. Here we go.